66 Mustang update. Spent my power uh, two ish hours doing a little sandblasting. Mm -hmm. Sandblasting and grinding. So I uh, wanted to do that tail panel just because. Fill her in there, I gotta take care of you. Uh, I wanted to get into these areas where you know I can't really get with a grinder or something. First spot to take note of. There's some holes there and a lot of filler. And it looks like uh, there's a pretty deep recess there. I, that might be factory though, because the other side kind of looks like it's got it's pretty deep too. And I think that's seam sealer there. So I think that's probably factory, but that's still going to need some new metal in there. Travel up. This looks real nice. This looks real nice. You get the little factory uh, stampings there, I think, for factory. 720 U8. I don't know. <clears throat> but then here's where we're going to have to do some work. And this is the part where I asked Mark to show me how he does those. Uh, or was it? No, it was uh, Rick. It was both of you. Asked how to sh how to do those curve pieces. It was Rick. I'm sorry, um, because that's gonna have to get cut out. If I cut it here, it's two separate panels. Oh, this part must be spot welded here. Anywho, I gotta get good new metal in there, and well, the lip ain't too bad. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to figure that out. Also did some grinding, nice and shiny, rough, do some sanding there. Uh, I didn't sand there yet, but I uh, did sandblast here, and you can see that this is actually really in good shape. There's a little bit of uh, brass right there, I might have to take a look at that. 714W3. So anywho, uh, I... Uh, Sandblasted in these seams. This side looks all right. This side, I don't know. We'll see. Jury's out. Looks like it might need a little work in there. And here's what I showed you guys before. You see that quarter panel seam? Yeah. I'm not even sure what they did. I'm not sure what those little dots are. Those little dots. Spot weld dimples, maybe? Well, I don't know. It doesn't go all the way back. So, I don't know how I'm going to re repair that yet. i got to get all that filler out of there and see what we're working with. The big surprise of the night, though, let's see if I can get up here. I also did some grinding on the roof. Let's see what I'm working with there. Big surprise was right here. Let me get it back a little bit so you can get some perspective. You see this kind of line? Yeah, that line. It's indented there. You can feel the how it sags down in. And uh, let me show you what I didn't notice when I took the headliner out. Tape? Why in the world would there be tape? Um, I'm gonna get it out. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure what they were thinking when they tried to fix this, but it appears maybe there was a. Uh, I don't know. Maybe something fell on the car. Something fell on it, and it made a big uh, dent slash uh, maybe it even uh, cracked the steel. So they put tape on it, and then filled the bejesus out of it. So I don't know, guys. You know, I mean, I was thinking, I was hoping I could save this roof. Um, that's not well. Some of it's a little bit of surface rust, but most of that's adhesive. Um, you know, there's some bubbles and stuff over there. But you know, I mean, the rust, most of it ain't through. 
But this spot is bad. This spot is real bad. So, now they don't make reproduction roof panels for Mustangs. Or for coupes, anyways. They make them for fastbacks. So, can I cut a rectangular piece out? Right up to the uh, frame rail. Cut a rectangular piece. Maybe give it a little bit of bubble on an English wheel or something. And then weld it in. That's looking like my best option, guys. I'll have to get some help from a machine shop with an English wheel. I don't got nothing like that, but I think it's possible. It'll be hard to fit this, you know, the contour of this, but if I keep it relatively small, about a three inch wide rectangle, about 12 inches long, you know, maybe I can get a little bit of a curve on it and then weld it in and then, you know, block it. It'll probably be pretty. You know, I gotta try to keep the filler filler thin. I don't want to go too thick on the filler. It's gonna be thick enough in these pit, pits. It's <sighs> frustrating, guys. So, yep, yeah, that was tonight. I uh, got some new materials coming. Yeah, let me flip this around. Got some materials coming from uh, uh, Darren and Andrea. Uh, looking forward to that. When I get that stuff, I can get back onto those hoods and trunk. Um, until then, you know, tonight I just wanted to do some wrecking, you know, do some damage. So, anyway, if you guys got any advice on that uh, roof, I'm not sure if I'm in the camera, and I know I've got glare in my glasses, but you guys got any um, recommendations on that roof? Uh, please, by all means, leave some comments. I think I can weld a piece of steel in. Tell me if I'm nuts. Thanks. See you guys.